Welcome to another another podcast. Another episode. Hello, my name is Princess, and welcome to our channel, DLBC Singles. And uh, today again, we are here bringing you another interesting topic. You can't believe it. If you are new here, I advise you to join us, join the family. Really, we are sharing a lot of interesting topics. We are we are hitting like very um, hot topics here and you would benefit a lot from here click on the subscription button and click on that bell so that you can be notified whenever we come for another um another episode. podcast or episode like this uh, so um for all our old subscribers you're very welcome here again how are you doing how is everybody i hope you're doing well and uh, um i hope that uh, you are always happy to to join us and that all the, the last videos has have been uh, a blessing to you do well to subscribe um, to share this video to all your friends and family members and anybody that will benefit from this we have we're on Instagram or on Facebook I'll put all the description in the handle below and today we're going to jump into the podcast without wasting too much time I have our host here you know me I'm princess and then we have uh, um, Joshua. Joshua. And then we have Obina. Obina. So, yes. Dr. Enzuluke. Yes, yeah. Dr. Enzuluke. <laughs> okay. So, when you start hearing big terms and lots of vocabularies, you, you know, say, that you know the direction is Doctor coming. and the house. Okay. okay. <laughs> like Doctor, book doctor, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? Doctor, book yeah, doctor. I'm still looking for my syringe. <laughs> He's still looking for his syringe, okay. Yeah, so today we're talking about hypergamy. What is hypergamy? What does it mean? What, what does that term mean? And um, first, I'm going to start with Dr. Obina to give us what the definition of hypergamy well, means. Um, I will just give in like simple a terms. Simple term. Then I guess, bro, Joshua, if you remember the actual definition, the, what I what I can remember hypergamy is is the general, shall I say, the general way women try to um, enter relationship. Meaning, if it's marriage, they they, they say they marry up. Okay. Meaning they, they often try to get married to or be in a relationship with someone that is above their level, if not in all all aspects, but in certain key aspects that are important to the woman. Mm -hmm. For some people, it could be height, or they, they must marry someone that is taller than them. Mm -hmm. For some people, it could be money, like finance. Yeah. So different, different. So it varies depending on who the woman is. Yeah. That's why I say. Okay. I mean, I think that is what. So I probably based on the definition that I saw, it's developing a sexual relationship with somebody based on what you think is the best. So yeah, yeah. Your best search for somebody to be with. Okay. Somebody defined it as marrying up. Marrying yes. up. Yeah. Because of marriage. Mar so yeah. Marrying up, going higher, higher than. Yeah. Uh, higher than uh, your it could, it could be just marrying into a well-known family yeah. that okay. family name so it's yeah. just okay yeah. yeah so marrying into a well-known family yeah. into a yeah. higher yeah. status yeah. pedestal yeah. whatever it is <laughs> yeah so marrying higher than your yeah. your normal status 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 quo is what yeah. <laughs> in quotes <laughs> yes yeah so the topic is like hypergamy how how what role and how do we see it in the christian relationship and christian setting yeah does it help is there a way it could be really done that would be beneficial or is it just detrimental? Those kind of things. Yeah, because I know I remember we were having a conversation with, 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 with Obina the other time and yeah. he was saying that the problem of many uh, ladies is that they they want to marry up. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that um, when a woman has studied and studied or has reached the peak of her career yeah. and that and she starts having this problem because hypergamy is always in the picture yeah, yeah. and then if she has become for example she becomes a doctor like maybe she, she studied chemistry and she becomes a doctor of of chemistry yeah. she's reached the peak of her career and maybe she's a director or she's whatever it is then she finds it difficult to find a man that that she, that that she'll no, marry no, no, no. or she's finding it difficult to agree that's it that's to it. agree with even <laughs> 
the option that present themselves exactly. to her. Maybe the will of God. Exactly. She prays and she she finds that this person that she wants to marry is lower in in status. Yes. <laughs> maybe he's just a, a, a graduate yes. or maybe a school sat holder and he has a business and she feels what? I'm a PhD holder. How can I marry somebody who is down there? You know? Mm -hmm. So that's that's really the concern. That's what we were discussing yes. about. So um no, you this example you gave the interesting thing is that, you know, at times, even when I discuss with young young women, you know, our age group and mm -hmm. lower, mm -hmm. I often try to make them understand and get this thing that, see, mm -hmm. generally in this kind of fast-paced um, society or environment we live in, mm -hmm. you, you must not be dull. Mm -hmm. Just because, so this person said, do this, if you follow this line, your life will be comfortable. You need to question it. Ask questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you see someone who is living the life, you feel that, oh, that's the kind of life I would like to ask that person a question. How did you do it? What challenges did you have? Because I often find that many, many believers, even in church, they've bought in into this feminist empowerment. I, I use that term feminist. Some people call it womanist empowerment in the sense that it's not the normal empowerment we know. It's not it's not the normal empowerment where you where you for example give um, people opportunities to do what they need to do mm -hmm. but in this this particular one it's more like oh a one man is holding this rule therefore automatically auto automatically there must be a woman holding the same rule what I, what I was trying to say is that believers we should not just be playing how like put it defense and taking taking life just as it comes mm -hmm. God told us we should ask and we receive. We shouldn't just, you know, stay back like that and things happen to us then. Oh, when something bad now happens, that's when we'll not be serious asking God. Okay. We should plan and ask God. Tying this whole thing with issue of praying for who to marry, for example, in a relationship. Let's say, like we are saying before, someone prays and God reveals to that person through whatever means, through voice or whatever. Mm -hmm. And say, this is the person that will be good for you. But let's say that woman now, at that stage, let's say she had a plan. She has a plan to go. Let's say she's a student. She has a plan to go to keep studying to PhD level. Yes. But this particular man God has revealed to her might be a businessman, in a starting businessman at that time. Yeah. Now the question is, will she just say, oh, I want to get to this level of PhD. Mm -hmm. But this person, yes, is a starting businessman. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's going to match me. Yeah. They might now say it's incompatibility, but actually the problem is the lady is feeling that she's already or where her goal, her trajectory is already too high mm -hmm. yeah. compared to the man. Mm -hmm. okay. So the question now is, will you obey God? Like you said that God revealed to you, or will you do what you want to do? Yeah. That's where this question of hypergamy now comes to play. Especially for the hypergamy is for the women. So will the woman sac quote unquote sacrifice? whatever her own personal plans are, to yield to God's will. Because she doesn't know at that point. It's mm -hmm. still early. Maybe 10 years down the line, yes, she gets to PhD, does everything. Yeah. But this man, by that time, he becomes an internationally known businessman. Yeah. It's in the future. She's not seeing it then. Yeah. Now, if, she, if that man becomes an international businessman, mm -hmm. there's no amount of money she can make from her PhD work that will match. So at that stage now, she'll be happy and say, oh, I married right. But initially, you see the problem now. Yeah. At the initial stage, she will feel like ah, even if she wants to marry the man, she will be feel like ah, I just said it. Okay. You see where the problem is now. Mm -hmm. So I think a part of our discussion is for believers to really place for women today is women to really place it properly in the proper context of how to you know find God's will and obey and do that will, even if your own self-will is telling you that, oh, this person is below my standard. Yeah. But as long as you're sure that, oh, this is what God, I'm convinced this is the way God is leading me, it's now up to the person to decide what to do. Okay. Do you have anything to add? Yeah. I mean, I wanted to take a bit of a step back yeah, with yeah. the whole idea because yeah. we live in a hyper-connectivity yeah. environment and mm -hmm. if you look at even um, dating apps, yeah. the number of men that get matched to women, mm -hmm. it's people in the top 25% yeah. they get the most matched. So about 75% of the women are matched to the top 25%. 25%. Yeah. 
and it's it's a natural instinct yeah. i would say disposition of a woman to want to marry up is it a bad thing not necessarily so and so that is a trend in the world yeah. Yeah. but then should it be something that christians should heavily involve themselves to in terms of guiding their decisions in their mm. in making choices mm -hmm. right because yeah. um, there is nothing wrong in seeking to marry somebody who is above you in yeah. so many respects yes because you want to be comfortable so of course if i marry somebody who is raised there is not nothing wrong with that yeah. i want somebody who would be the head of the home so if mm -hmm. i marry somebody who is spiritually quote unquote superior than me it doesn't yeah. there is nothing wrong with that yes. but just like brobina said the bible tells us to renew our minds mm -hmm. and to renew our minds doesn't mean that we have to discuss whatever thing that is out there but we take what is out there and pass it through the scriptures and see is this something that will stand the test of time yeah right? like you, we don't make decisions here and now because you don't know the future of anybody yes, right? so yes. but if you get so much riveted in that idea yes and then that blocks your mind it becomes essentially like i don't like to use this term but i will use it become like a god for you mm -hmm. that i mean oh i I have to marry somebody who is rich. Well, somebody can be rich today and will not be yeah, rich tomorrow. tomorrow yeah, somebody right. can be in, in good health today and will not be in tomorrow. Yes. And so I don't think there is anything wrong in that, but it shouldn't be the ultimate decision maker for us. Like if we believe we are believers and we are praying, mm -hmm. not only should we pray for God to show us his will, he should, we should also pray that when his will is revealed to us, right? We will we be able to, to do it. To do it. We need to do we the will of God. Yeah. yeah, but the, and another thing that we were discussing the last time was um, that level of men, you know, hypergamy, okay, because the same women want to marry up, mm. but men want to marry down. Mm. Mm -hmm. you know, no, no, yeah, no, no, not necessarily that would, men, not necessarily that men. The, or they prefer to marry down. Not, not down in that sense. Okay. Generally, what what it shows is that men don't necessarily care they in that respect. Care. The, the only thing they care about is someone that will be able to mm. fit in to their agenda. Okay. And for for some men, all they need is just give me peace, be at home. Every other thing I'll take care of. That's for some men. Yeah. For some men, they need a teammate. That will, so, depending on the man, mm -hmm. it, therefore men generally, I don't think. For actually, for men, when you see men trying to marry up, he says, "Can." Generally, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so well, I guess yeah, uh, because you know, generally, <laughs> men men wants to want to take care of. Okay. So if you now see someone that is trying to marry up, by all means, something no, is but, uh, something. not all the time, but oh. but yeah, sometimes, mm. or most times, it no, no, it, way that. So, so a, a man can marry up. But it's not that's not his primary, his primary but when you see someone who a man who that's his primary driver, it's a scam. Is something something is up. <laughs> so the girls need to watch out yeah. if there's a man that is so particular because he mm -hmm. wants to marry you by all means because of yours yeah. because of your, your yeah. Yeah. family yeah. or something, yeah. you know, something, something is off. Something is off. Yeah, yeah. Something, something, is off. something is off. Yeah. So and okay, yeah, that makes sense. And if we want to tie it back to um you, you know, we we're, were talking some time ago with him. With Robin and, and Obina was saying that um, there is um, a circle of men that have yeah. made it so much, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're like high value men, yeah. mm -hmm. and that those men don't want a woman that's so career oriented, oh, yes. so all the way up there, and so she's so very, and some of the women that are so very feministic, I, yeah. I don't know if I'll say that's the right word that he used, so they don't want that kind of no. Woman, they want a woman that is just quiet. They want the women, just no, they, what they want, homely, what those people want, homemaker. Are, what those people want are the women that society criticize. They call them traditional women, but those are the women those men are looking for. Those high value, those top are, most, those are the women they, because all they need is just stay at home, take care of the kids. If there's visitor, host, be hostess, that's it. But many women get it twisted and think, oh, they need to match the guy. No. You need to understand the kind of person you're in relationship with. I don't know, I think we yeah. might have to come back to yeah. 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 continue yeah. Yeah. a little bit about hypergamy. Yeah, yeah. And well, for today, the takeaway, I know, it's, as much as women want to marry up, they should be willing to do the will of God. Yes. Yeah. So even if you are up there, you have achieved all your goals, you have become everything that you want to be, 
uh, in life when God is bringing a man that in quote is not up to your standard or not mm -hmm. above it that you should not let that be a deterrent mm -hmm. and it does it shouldn't stop you from accepting to do the will of God because the man that you see today yeah. and looks somewhat lower than you might really transform tomorrow yes. and get all the degrees that he wants to get and get all the business he wants to get and become who he wants to he, who God wants him to be actually it's all about purpose mm -hmm. so we're not marrying a man because of what he is currently mm -hmm. but we're marrying a man because of what he has yeah, where, where he's, where he's going, going his vision right yeah. his vision because Somebody might not have money today it doesn't mean that uh, you can be you can be poor in cash but rich in ideas in ideas yeah. so I hope that uh, somebody has learned something from this and that we will come yeah. um, hopefully for another video to conclude to conclude yeah. this part yeah. on uh, hypergamy yes. and I think yeah. that. Uh, when we talk about men's men's too. We'll talk yeah, about men's yeah, yeah, part. Yeah. This is the woman's part, and yeah. I think that there is still more to talk about yeah, here. Yeah, but uh, for today, we are just going to make it a very short video. Yes. So until next time, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let us know what you want us to talk about, and comment. do well to join the group and the page. Like the page, follow the page. All links. Of the social media handles will be in the description section below that being said ciao goodbye Bye. until next time yeah stay <laughs> safe stay safe out there <laughs>